And it was not just Coco Pimentel. Action Democratico is also up in arms over the decision of PDP Laban's Kusi faction. It is also ramping up pressure on the BIR over unpaid taxes of the Marcoses. Mobile journalist Pamela Vasquez gives us a front seat to the story. Presidential candidate Isko Moreno's camp is furious over PDP Laban's decision to endorse Bongbong Marcos for president. Only the faction led by Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi made the endorsement. The other faction led by Senator Coco Pimentel slammed the move. Action Democratico campaign manager Lito Banayo says it goes against the very principles of the party. PDP was founded by former Senator Aquilino Pimentel. Laban, on the other hand, was founded in 1978 by no less than then-imprisoned Benigno Aquino Jr. to fight the Marcos dictatorship. So how a PDP Laban can now support the candidacy of their founding father's nemesis is beyond any principled choice. Banayo, who was also Duterte's campaign manager in 2016, had some choice words for the president. Paano kaya ninyo malulunok ang isang kandidato na sinabi ninyong nagdodroga o nagkokokane, spoiled brat, hindi, hindi pwedeng maging leader? However, Duterte was not among the signatories of the resolution. And the palace made clear that it does not mean the president's endorsement, at least for now. Hintay na lang po natin si Pangulong Duterte kung ano ang kanyang personal na decision. Action Democratico also continued to hit Marcos over his unpaid estate taxes. Benayo claimed that by his calculation, every Filipino who lost a job during the pandemic can get ayuda of 48,333 pesos out of that 203 billion pesos. 4.2 bil- million people ang nawalan ng trabaho out of our workforce. E siguro naman dapat ang Department of Finance utusan na talaga ang BIR na singilin ang 203 billion na ito. The letter hasn't been released to date and it's unclear exactly how much estate tax the Marcos heirs are on the hook for. Mobile journalist Pamela Vasquez, We Are One News.